Welcome to this episode of the CS++ video series where I strive to make computer science and related topics as accessible and approachable as possible. This video is in the CS101 series. You can watch CS101 videos in any order that you would like to, but I recommend that you watch them all before moving on to the CS201 series. So in this particular video, I'm going to cover truth tables. This is a kind of fundamental way of looking at logic. Let's say that we want to discuss and. So if A and B, then C is true. But we have a, a way of analyzing this and representing it and it is called a truth table. We generally do it in this order. False, 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 true, true, false, true, true. And this will make sense much later in this video series, I assure you. So if A and B are both true, then C is true. Then the output of this operation is true. So that means that our first case is false because neither one of them is true. Our second case is false because only one of them is true. Our third case is false because again, only one of them is true. But finally, our fourth case is true. Now let's go ahead and cover the OR operation. So in the OR case, the output is true if either of these values are true. So neither A nor B is true in the first case, so the output is false. In the second case, B is true, therefore the output is true. In the third case, A is true, therefore the output is true. And in the fourth case, the output is true because A or B is true. It's acceptable for them to both be true for this particular case. So we can do more complicated things like A and B or C. Now this one is going to have eight cases. And for the sake of simplifying this example, I'm going to just use T and F to represent true and false. So the problem is A and B or C. Okay, so uh, we have to say A and B together, look at those as one unit. So are A and B true? No. Is C true? No. So this is going to be false. Are A and B true? No. Is C true? Yes, it is. So that is going to be true. Are A and B true? No. And C is not true. Therefore, false again. Now, are A and B true? No. Is C true? Yes. So we're going to make that one true. On the fifth case, are A and B true? No, not again. We can see they don't become true together until down here, the last two cases. And C is not true, so that's false again. And we can use the same reasoning again. Just the fact that C is true makes that true. Now we get here. Are A and B true? Yes. Is C true? No. But because I have A and B or C, then that is true as well. And we have down here, C is true, so we can just mark that as true. So another way to have looked at this is we could have just said, well, we know that C being true means that the result is true. Therefore, we could have very easily just marked these as all being true and then go and figure out the remaining ones. Okay, so that is the basic operation of a truth table. Now we're going to do the homework assignment. Actually, before we cover the homework assignment, we're going to cover one other thing. 
not. So not has one input and one output, which means we only have two cases, false and true. And what not does is it inverts the value. So not false is true. Not true is false. So for your homework assignment, I want you to solve the truth table for this. That is not A and B or A and not B. Now you do have only four cases here. We still have only two inputs, A and B. And once you have finished that, A concept called exclusive or, which we will definitely cover in a future episode, but uh, I think that this would be a good stopping place for the homework here. Uh, thanks for watching this episode of CS++. I hope you learned something, and I'll look for you in the next episode.